The Bible says that Jesus was marred and disfigured beyond description. It says in the book of Isaiah that Jesus was so messed up because of the torture he experienced for you and for me that you couldn't even recognize him as a human being. Jesus was marred and beaten and spit on hundreds of times, slapped and whipped. His skin was bare and dried out. You could see his rib cage. They pulled his arms out of his sockets. There was a crown of thorns on his head, holes in his hands and his feet. His priestly beard, gone. His face bare as he took your sins, as he took your sickness, as he took your suicidal thoughts, as he took your anxiety, your depression, your addiction. And it says in the Bible that with great joy, Jesus did this. He didn't regret doing any of it because he knew at the end of this crucifixion, he was about to set so many captives free who would just call on his name and believe. Who called Jesus Lord during the crucifixion? You'd be surprised to know who did. A thief. Where does that even fit in your theology? A thief on the cross. He wasn't baptized. He never gave a dime to the church, to the temple. He never spoke in tongues. In fact, he never even said the sinner's prayer. Jesus didn't take away his pain. He didn't heal him. The guy died on the cross that day, right next to Jesus. Yet it was that very thief who walked into paradise with Jesus that day simply by believing as he beheld the lamb who takes away our sins. He had nothing he could offer Jesus, right? Except belief, except the confession that Jesus is Lord. God made it so simple. Whoever you are in this room, if you would just behold Jesus and believe, you can be saved.